be only on four. Courtney. Janelle, our sources say that the grandmother and granddaughter were beaten severely. And now families say they're going to do whatever they can to help police catch their killer. Two murders, one family. There's so many questions that I have, and I just don't have any answers. April Crumpton is grieving not only for her mother, but also for her teenage niece. 19 year old Tiana Banks and 71 year old Valerie Crumpton were found murdered in Valerie's East Hills home Thursday. Their killer still out there. These were two souls that were lost in a heinous, most heinous. Environment, and there's nothing we can do to bring them back. Homicide detectives haven't said how the grandmother and granddaughter died. Crumpton doesn't want to speculate, but she believes it's possible Tiana knew her attacker. Just a you know young, beautiful woman who didn't deserve this. Crumpton wants what happened to her family to be a lesson to those who fear they're in danger but are afraid to ask for help. Wake up! There are things going on within. Homes that we don't know anything about. And when they reach out, are we reaching back in the right manner? Police continue investigating while Crumpton focuses on the good memories her family has, the strong woman her mother once was, who touched so many lives. Wherever you go in the neighborhood, you will learn that my mother was just, everyone knew her by singing. She was the Whitney Houston of Homewood. She was. And uh, very fervent in her prayers and very fervent in her belief in God. Now, I should mention that 19 year old Tiana recently became a mother herself, and we know that her son is safe. Family say that he is protected and he is with them this afternoon. For now, reporting live at Pittsburgh Police Headquarters, Courtney Fisher, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.